Hello dear students welcome back this question is from gate 2017 exam and is for one mark they are saying this code has some problem you need to identify what is that problem so i'll also display the options later but first let us analyze this code so execution has to begin from the main function that means this function will be called automatically whenever a function is called you have to push activation record onto the stack okay suppose this is the activation record corresponding to this main function okay now first line is int star x that means you are trying to declare a variable named x which is local to the main function okay and all the local variables they get memory inside the activation record of that function okay star x means x is a pointer so this variable can contain only addresses int star x means whatever x contains that means whatever is this address has to be address of some integer okay now to this variable x we are assigning whatever is returned by this function call we are calling function malloc malloc is used to allocate memory at runtime dynamically okay so malloc will allocate some memory from the heap suppose this is the block that is allocated by malloc okay what is the size of this block we are specifying the size here so we want this block to be of this size so you are using size of function and to this function you are passing int this means tell us what is the size of one integer so this function will tell you suppose that this function returns you 4 so this function is saying one integer is of 4 bytes then to this malloc you are passing whatever is returned here that means you are passing 4 so malloc is going to allocate 4 bytes block okay now what does malloc returns malloc is going to return you the base address of newly allocated memory that means this address suppose its base address is 314 okay it could be anything its return value is to be saved in x that means x is updated with 314 see x is a pointer so it can contain addresses and this is a uh, address only so x is pointing here like this okay next line says if null equal to equal to x then return see sometimes this function malloc it may fail to allocate memory okay due to various reasons suppose the process is running out of memory that means heap is already full and the os is also not allowing the process to use more memory okay in such scenario malloc may fail to allocate memory block okay and it will simply return null if this thing happens then return means end the function and this main function here only main function ends means program has ended okay anyways now next line says x is equal to assign well x comma zero what is x x is 314 okay so 31 is 314 is passed to this function assign well 314 is received by this first parameter okay and zero is received by the second parameter okay now see here you have called a function that means a activation record has to be pushed suppose this is the activation record corresponding to this function call this assign value function or assign val inside this function there are these two local variables x and val okay so x and val now both of these variables they are different this is variable of main function this is variable that is local to this assign well function okay and x is also a pointer to some integer okay this x gets a value 314 this variable well that's 314 this variable well it gets a value 0 okay or let me just correct it simply well is 0 now see this pointer contains address 314 means this pointer is also pointing to this location only now first line in this function will be executed it says star x is equal to well what is x x is 314 this memory location writing star with x means value at that memory location that means whatever is saved inside this box and star x is written on the left side means this value has to be saved here 
सो वैल्यू एट लोकेशन एक्स दिस वैल्यू इज अपडेटेड विद वेरिएबल वेल वॉट इज वेल वेल इज जीरो सो जीरो इज सेव्ड हेयर ओके आफ्टर दैट रिटर्न एक्स दैट मीन्स थ्री वन फोर इज रिटर्न ओके सो थ्री वन फोर इज रिटर्न यू विल गेट थ्री वन फोर हेयर वी कॉल दिस फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन हैज रिटर्न यू एड्रेस दैट इज थ्री वन फोर and in x you are saving that address see this function call has ended hence this activation record will be popped now whatever the value is returned whatever value is returned that is given to variable x don't think that this variable x is updated it is this x that is updated now we are in main function so we are talking about x of main function okay but earlier also this variable had value 314 now we are updating it and making it 314 only so no change okay and this activation record is deleted if x this is interesting see if you have studied compiler design from me you know what is going to happen this line may be omitted completely by the code optimizer module of the compiler because this condition will always be true there is no chance that you get a false here that means always you are going to execute this block so there is no use of writing this if see how is this always true this condition null equal to equal to x that means if x contains null then the program is going to return that means if x contains null always the program will end here if you are here it means x did not contain null okay and if x did not contain null then always we are going to execute this block see let me just discuss some basics null has a value 0 null or 0 they are one and the same thing in c language okay second thing is zero is treated as false third thing is all integers except for zero they are treated as true either negative or positive it will be true now x is not null that means x is not zero which also means x will be some integer okay x contains some address and addresses can only be positive so some positive integer written in if means if true so if you are always getting true then maybe i am saying maybe maybe code optimizer will simply omit this line to make the program smaller and faster okay less number of lines means less time taken anyways this line will be executed it says x is equal to int star malloc size of int you already know what is going to happen if we execute this part memory block will be allocated in heap suppose this is that memory block its address is maybe 340 okay then that address whatever address is returned it is converted into this type okay we are converting this address 314 into int star and then we are updating the value of x see first of all let me just erase this part now this malloc function returns you 340 that means the address of newly allocated memory block we are converting that address into int star that means now we can save integers here only integers and that integer type address is assigned to x okay x can contain only integer addresses we are assigning it integer address only okay so 340 is assigned to x now this is updated value of x becomes 340 and hence x points to this address like this okay see we are not type casting the address here but it's okay c language allows this c in c language you can simply assign the address that is returned by malloc function to any variable even if you write char here still this will be allowed okay but in c++ we always have to type cast the return address of malloc that means if x is integer and we are using c++ language then this return address has to be made of integer type okay that means this line will give a error in cpp so this is rejected in c++ but this is okay in c++ in c language both of the lines will be accepted okay anyways let's move ahead 
Next line is if null equal to equal to x return, you know what is happening. Then we are saying, see this line, it is inside this bracket only, like this. Okay, these three lines are part of the if block. And I've already told you this if block may not have any existence. Okay, so just execute it line by line. Last line is x assign well 10. You know what is happening. We are going to save 10 here and this 340 will be returned. So this returns 340, it is saved in x. That means x still points to that same address. After that, we are printing star x. Star x means go to address x, so 340 and take the value. The value is 10. So you are trying to print 10. Output of the program is going to be 10. And then free x. That means this memory location, it is deleted, okay? Now that memory that we just allocated, it is freed. Now see, what is the flaw in this program? You can completely compile it error free. You can execute it error free. And it is even given the expected output. They were asking what is the problem? Can you identify the problem? This is the problem. Now, this program, it has executed malloc twice, once here, once here. This memory block is not freed. We haven't executed free function for this memory block, but the second block that we allocated is freed, okay? That means this memory is now counted under free memory, but this memory will be counted under used memory, okay? In heap, this location is being used, but the program does not even know its base address. In variable x340 is saved, we have lost this address 314. Okay. While running, there is only one variable that is used to save addresses. Once you update it, this base address will be lost. At runtime, it may not be 314. I've just taken any random number as the address. At runtime, address can be anything and we have lost that address. Now, there is a memory block that is being used, but you don't know where it is. Isn't it funny? So this memory block can never be freed. This is the uh, problem in this code. So what is the problem? This problem is called memory leak problem. Suppose this is some very complex code that is written to run continuously for months or maybe even years. Suppose this is some server process. Servers keep on running continuously 24 seven. If such problems happen in server, you keep on allocating new memories, new memory blocks, and you keep on forgetting their base addresses. Eventually, entire primary memory will be filled and you will run out of memory and the process might be killed by the operating system or the machine may even crash. A lot of things could happen. So this is a serious problem if we talk about the code that is going to run continuously. For such small programs, anyways, this is the last line. Even if you don't write this line, even if you don't free this block or this block, it is not a problem. Because eventually, the program is going to end here. And if program ends, this entire memory will be freed. This one, this one, as well as the entire stack, everything is going to be freed and the memory will be returned back to the operating system, okay? So it is not a problem for such codes. Anyways, just have a look at the option. Option one says compiler error as the return of malloc is not typecasted appropriately. This is not an issue in C language. In C language, whatever is returned by malloc, you can directly assign it to a pointer. Okay, this is address, just assign it to a pointer. But in CPP, this will be an error. Okay. In CPP, you have to typecast this return address into an integer type. Option B says, compiler error because the comparison should be made as x equal to equal to null. Here, null equal to equal to x or x equal to equal to null. It's one and the same thing. This is not error, it's susceptible. See, null is a value that is zero and x will also contain some value. So it does not matter which value is written on which side. You simply want to compare these two things, so order does not matter. And second thing is, you cannot write it like this 
in sql in sql null is not a value in c language null is a value that is zero in sql null is not zero so in sql you have some special syntax which is x is null okay x can be name of some column or whatsoever their variable or rather the keyword is has to be used say name is null okay like that anyways let's see option c option c says compile successfully but execution may result in dangling pointer what is dangling pointer x is now a dangling pointer c when you free this location x this memory block that contained or that had address 340 it will be freed but there is a pointer containing that address now x points to location that is freed okay so this x is now a dangling pointer okay and option d says compile successfully but execution may result in memory leak yeah this is the answer answer is option d okay